Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Harpo Mindasud Sidhu from Management Department, RAMT University. My topic of presentation is Services Marketing. Under Services Marketing, we will cover the basic concept of Services Marketing, the characteristics of Services Marketing and 7 P's of Services Marketing. Now coming up to the very basic part, uh, let us start from the definition of Services Marketing. Service is an act of performance that one party offers to another that is essentially intangible and does not result in ownership of anything. Its production may or may not be tied to a physical product. So it is based on relationship and value. It may be used to market a service or product. So next comes why do we need to study services marketing? There are n number of reasons to study services marketing. The very first reason is upward trend in disposable income. So disposable personal income in India obviously has increased in past 20 years. That is the main primary factor. The second is developing country, liberalization and there are a lot of job opportunities and demand increase with disposable income. The next factor can be increasing specialization. Due to specialization, there is advancement of technology, cost effectiveness, expert and professionals, development of service, financial banking are the other reasons to study service market, uh, services marketing. And other reasons can be changing lifestyle, obviously. Developing of corporate culture is there due to which uh, lifestyle has been changed. Adopting western culture, uh, we are adapting foreign brands due to which we need to study services marketing. And another factor can be increasing literacy rate. Due to literacy rate, increasing literacy ra rate, there is professionalism in education, information explosion, government regulation, customer protection and KYC. So the major reasons for the growth of service sector in India can be, in recent times the service sector is increasing at a very fast pace. After the liberalization in 1991, the contribution of service sector is continuously increasing in the growth of our economy. However, agriculture is still dominating the Indian economy. Service sector are not growing in volume but also in sophistication and complexity. The growth of service industry is the result of combination of several reasons. That reasons can be the service sector contributes the most of Indian GDP. The sector of service in India has biggest share in the country GDP. It accounts for more than 50% contribution. The various sector under service sector in India are, they can be restaurants, communication, storage, social and personal service, community, insurance, financing, business service and it can be real estate also. Then comes the uh, another factor that is increasing affluency. Obviously wealth is increasing day by day. More leisure time is there greater life expectancy, higher percentage of working women, increasing complexity of life, increasing number of new products. So these are the major reasons, the primary reason for which we have to study, uh, for which we have uh, the growth of service sector in India. Next comes the characteristics of services marketing. There are basically four characteristics of services marketing. They are intangibility, inseparability, variability and perishability. Now coming up one by one, the very first factor is intangibility. Everybody knows that services are intangible. Now what do you mean by in intangible? Intangible means it cannot be seen, it cannot be tasted, heard or smelled. Evaluation of uh, services is very challenging in case of, because they are intangible in nature. Intangibility is used in marketing to describe the inability to assess the value gained from engaging in an activity using any tangible evidence. Next come second factor is inseparability. The second characteristic is inseparability. Now what does, what does it mean? It means services are produced and consumed simultaneously. Provider who is taking the service and the client interaction is special feature of services marketing. Uh, if I correlate it uh, with example, the best example is a live theatre performance, a makeover, doctor service, 
etc. because you are producing and consuming the service at the same time. So, it is inseparable. Next comes the variability factor. It is uh, also called as heterogeneity. Services are highly variable. It describes the uniqueness of service meaning they cannot be mass produced. Very good example we can take as service firms like a car servicing varies each time. Another example can be McDonald's. In McDonald's consumables may be standardized, but a weekday or weekend may be different. Next characteristics is perishability. Perishability is used in marketing to describe the way in which services capacity cannot be stored for sale in future. It means service cannot be stored. It can be used only once. Once used service cannot be stored, saved or returned. And uh, if we talk about some service firms, the example of service firms can be, it can be banking, it can be stock, broking, it can be restaurants, catering, insurance, news and entertainment, healthcare, education, professional and so on. Now coming up to the next topic that is the seven P's of marketing. So, the original marketing mix was proposed by Jerome McCarthy in his 1960 book, which was named as Basic Marketing. Extending this model to service, the service marketing mix was developed by Bernard H. Booms and Mary J. Bettner in 1981. The service marketing mix consists of original product marketing mix. So, in this, Traditional, there are basically traditional four P's. That four P's are product, price, place and promotion. The three P's are extended as, uh, are called as extended P's of marketing. And that can be people, physical evidence and process. So, these P's are extended P's of services. Another P's are traditional P's. So, but these four tactics were extended by three to create services marketing mix. As I have already told you, the three P's of services are people, physical evidence and process. Now, coming up one by one, the very first P is product. Now, I am going to explain product in context of service. So, product refers to the service a company wishes to sell. This could be flight in case of an airplane or room in case of a hotel. Because services are intangible, we already know, it can help to think of service as being an asset plus the process around it. When you book a hotel room for a night, you can use the hotel room for evening, but you are also undergoing a series of processes such as checking in, checking out and having your luggage brought up to the room. Second factor is price. Price refers to the price a customer pays for the service. Pricing for service can be little more complex than for product. A very good example of uh, this can be airline services. An airline charging for uh, flights would need to consider many factors. That factors can be, uh, they will think, will we charge a fixed price for a seat? or they have to charge more as the flight get increased, increasingly booked. Another factor can be they can charge more for peak time or they can think will we offer discount for group booking and so on. So, there are just a few factors that might need to be taken into account when determining the price of the flight. Next factor is place. For services, place refers to the case of assess that customers have to a service. This can involve a physical decision such as where to locate a hotel. It also involves determining which intermediaries or affiliates to use to help you sell the service. For example, hotel.com. Next factor is promotion. Promotion refers to the different ways you communicate, you describe and advertise your product because uh, we already know that product is uh, it's an intangible thing. Service can be more difficult than product to promote. This is because there is nothing physical that can be assessed 
by a potential customer. Common ways to promote service can be you can use any celebrity, any celebrity for endorsement and it can be offering guarantees to uh, remove risk, using testimonials, listing any household name customers, using branding to highlight the quality of the product, that can be the factors. Next characteristic is people. Now these are the three extended P's of marketing, of services marketing rather. The very first P is people. By people we mean those people who are directly or indirectly involved in the delivery of service. This typically means employees of the company. It can even refer to existing and past customers of the company. These customers represent the company through word of mouth. All service business should ensure the staff are well trained and motivated. But there is another way to adjust the people tactic. This can be done by adjusting customer experience to meet the need of individual customers. If I want to take the example, uh, suppose imagine a hotel guest, he tweets that they are uh, at some hotel preparing for an important meeting for the next day. Then the next day while the guest uh, is in the hotel, the staff place a handwritten note in their room wishing them every success in their meeting. Alongside this, staff place some complimentary chocolates in the guest room. Now this trailering of customer experience will tend to make the customer more satisfied in the short term. It also makes them more likely to become long term customer. Furthermore, they are more likely to tell their friends and colleagues about their great experience in your hotel. Next is physical evidence. As we have already defined, services are intangible. Despite this, their delivery often involves tangible elements. Physical evidence is defined as both the environment or place where the service is delivered. Any tangible elements that facilitate the service or provide information about the service. So based on this definition, physical evidence includes such things uh, like the company's website, it can be annual account, business card, logos, brochures, it can be equipments. Let us take an example of physical evidence that consider a potential customer who wishes to visit a hotel for the first time. Now what will be the physical evidence here? The physical evidence might include pictures of the hotel, past customer review and hotel proximity to the center of town. Now the last element of services marketing mix is process. So process refers to the procedure mechanism and flow of activities that occur when the customer and the business interact with each other. When for example a customer book a hotel room, a process is triggered. When the customer then checks into, a, uh, checks into the hotel and their pro another process is triggered and when they check out yet, ensure, yet another process is triggered. So all these processes need to be tightly controlled to ensure consistent customer experience. They are usually defined in written standard operating procedure documents that is also called as SOPs. So this is about all services marketing, thank you.